Hey everybody, uh, as far as our early release Wednesdays coming up, after the needs assessment we did came out, uh, we analyzed that information and found a lot of basic skills were requested by staff members. Uh, one way we can do that is through using the Microsoft community where there's a lot of great courses and pathways for you to take. We would love for every staff member to actually hold a Microsoft Innovative Educator credential. And to do that, you complete a pathway and of some courses online self-paced so that you can get that basic understanding on your own and then come back and ask me questions as you need so to do that we're going to go to education.microsoft.com which will bring you to this page and we're going to sign in with our office 365 account once we're signed down we come back to the home page here <clears throat> which if you scroll down are some of the courses listed here now i'm going to recommend two pathways and three single courses that will get you started based off of information that we had in our surveys. I'm going to go to the training and I'm going to go to courses. The first tab that we come across are learning pathways. So the two learning pathways that I'm going to recommend that people at all staff undertake are Microsoft in Education and the OneNote Teacher Academy. So here's the OneNote Teacher Academy. And if you don't see Microsoft in Education, here's the Microsoft Education. You either scroll through or click View All or the More and it'll show them all to you. So if I click on the Microsoft in Education pathway, it's five courses, about four hours. You will get professional development hours through my learning plan for those four hours. They don't really take four hours. Um, and you can come through here on your own time. So if you want to do one session one Wednesday, pick another one another Wednesday. But here's the courses within here. Microsoft's updates, Microsoft Teams, OneNote, creating authentic assessments, and digital storytelling. Now part of the, the after the two pathways, I'm also suggesting three courses. Part of this pathway are three of the courses that I'm actually recommending. Starting with OneNote, I'm recommending that course. Microsoft Forms Creating Authentic Assessment, I'm recommending that course as well. So this is one of the pathways, which also has two of the courses. So if you take this course, it's gonna count as part of this pathway. Now the getting started with OneNote is a bonus because it also counts for the OneNote Teacher Academy pathway. So if I go back, the other pathway that I'm recommending because more and more people are getting into OneNote is the OneNote Teacher Academy pathway. Again, this is eight lessons recommended about four and a half hours. Again, it will not take four and a half hours. You will get credit for that time by completing these. So here's the getting started with OneNote and then you get down into class notebook. So if you're learning, want to learn about how to set up a class notebook, these are all great places to begin and we recommend them because you can do them on your own time at your own pace. The last course that I'm going to recommend as a single course is called Reimagine the Writing Process. So <clears throat> you can just search for it or you can find it in the course listing. Reimagine the Writing Process with Microsoft and Education. I think this is another great course. It's about an hour long and you can get, again, professional development credit for this, right? So it says an hour up here. You get an hour of credit, about 30 minutes is really where you're talking. But it's another good course about kind of integrating that writing skills in there. When you complete your courses, because you can sign up for these in MLP, you will get credit for them if you print out your certificate. So let's talk about how to print out your certificate. You're gonna go to your name. We're gonna go on down to achievements. When you get into achievements, you can scroll down. Here you have all of the badges that you will earn over time. And then down at the bottom are your certificates. Any blue certificates are single courses. So here's a reimagine the writing process in Microsoft Education. Any of the green are completed pathways. So there's the Microsoft in the classroom pathway. And then the purple ones are kind of milestones throughout the program. So certified Microsoft Innovative Educator. 
if you see in my signature for my email, this signature is there. We would love to have everybody hold this certificate. And getting that certificate is simple as completing a pathway. So if you complete one of the pathways, you'll become a Microsoft Innovative Educator. So when you click on these, just go down to download certificate, print this certificate out, <clears throat> turn it in, and this certificate will be the proof that you've completed the course and will be what we use to give you your credit for those hours in my learning plan. If you have any other questions about using Microsoft Education Community, the pathways, the courses, um, or more questions as you come out of the courses, please let me know and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have.